The following program is paid for by friends and partners of Andrew Sakwe Ministries International. I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. I have things I need to say. I need to say, but I can't. Praise the Lord. I need to say. You need it, but I can't say it. Glory to God. Like we said last week, it's not everything people need that they should hear. Because sometimes people need something but cannot handle it. Praise the Lord. So you give people what they can carry, what they can handle. Glory to God. It says, however, when he, the spirit of truth, the spirit of truth, because I have many things to tell you concerning what? Truth. But you can't bear all the truth. So when the Holy Spirit comes, the spirit of truth has come. He will guide you into what? The rest of the truth. The things I couldn't tell you, he will tell you. Glory to God. Why? Because at that point, you will have the capacity to handle truth. Why? Because you will have him living inside. Hallelujah. So from inside, he will give you understanding. He will teach you from, you know, he will teach you spirit to spirit. So you won't have that problem absorbing and receiving truth. Glory to God. Well, it says, for he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak. And he will tell you things to come. Whatever he tells you is what the Father wants you to hear. Glory to God. Are you guys getting this? So he's loyal. He's loyal. And we saw last week in Second Chronicles 16 verse 9, not only is he loyal, but he's looking for loyal people. Because he works best through loyal people. So if we're going to learn how to honor the Holy Spirit, we have to learn how to become loyal people. Glory to God. He works best through loyal people. Glory to God. So we have to learn how to become loyal, loyal in our hearts. Amen. For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro. Glory to God. The eyes run to and fro. Who, which Lord is this? The Holy Spirit. He's the one who's hovering across the earth. His eyes run to and fro throughout, throughout the whole earth to show himself strong. To show himself strong on behalf of those whose heart is what? Loyal to him. Amen. So, so those who have the manifestations of the Holy Spirit strong in their lives, are, are, are people who are loyal. Loyalty predisposes you to a greater measure of the Holy Spirit, to a stronger measure of the Holy Spirit, to a stronger operation of the Holy Spirit in your life when you have a loyal heart. Glory be to God. Are you with me? The gifts and calling of God are without repentance, but not the strength of God in your life not the anointing, not the measure of the anointing. You can be called to do something with no anointing. God can pull out the anointing. He'll never pull out the gift and the calling, but he can pull out the anointing. Do you see what I'm saying? He can pull out the anointing and then you minister without the anointing because he could not trust you with the anointing. That's what he's saying. It takes loyalty, loyalty for you to be trusted with greater measures of the anointing. Are you with me here? Yes. Glory to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And so we looked at some things about loyalty last week. We see that he works best with loyal people, people who are loyal to his person, people who are loyal to his presence, people who are loyal to his precepts, people who are loyal to his people. And all these are connected. If you're loyal to his person, You'll be loyal to his presence. You'll be loyal to his teachings, his precepts. And of course, you'll be loyal to whomever he sends to you. Do you see that? It's all connected. Glory be to God. We see that he's a great leader. The Holy Spirit is a great leader with a great vision. And all such leaders have a great hunger for loyal people. They're in search of Timothy. Does that make sense? We see that true loyalty is a rare commodity. We see in Proverbs 20 verse 6, it says, Every man claims his good, but who can find a faithful man? In other words, you have to look for them to find them. Glory to God. We see that loyalty is a heart issue, 
not an external one. Sometimes people do things right on the outside, but their heart is not loyal. And when the opportunity comes, they manifest this loyalty. This loyalty is a rebellious heart waiting for the opportunity to strike. We say that great visions are built on the, on the shoulders of loyal people. Hallelujah. You can't achieve a great vision outside the help, the agency of loyal people. It's not going to happen. Jesus could not do it. Nobody can do it. You need loyal people around you. Part of what Jesus spent 10 and a half years doing was in, 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 in training people in loyalty. So that when he was gone, they would remain loyal to his cause. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We, we saw that no matter who forsakes you, the Holy Spirit remains loyal. He remains loyal. Hallelujah. You can count on him. For more of Dr. Andy's messages and books, visit our website at www.thesummitbc.org.